Folks, Mike and Nicole Clark here with the Pragmatic Studio. Welcome to our online Ruby programming course. We are really pleased that you decided to spend some time with us in the studio learning how to write Ruby apps. I think we're going to have a good time together. Now you may have first heard about Ruby as the language used to write Rails apps. And thanks to Rails, the interest in Ruby has skyrocketed over the years. But what often gets lost is that Ruby goes beyond web programming. Ruby is a standalone, object-oriented programming language. It was around long before Rails came on the scene, and it continues to be used and developed independent of Rails. So whether you're looking to launch a career in programming, or you just want to become more confident in Rails, it all starts right here. So what should you expect in this course? Well, in the studio, we like to build things. So in this course, we're going to build a Ruby app from start to finish using a step-by-step -step approach so you see exactly how it's done. We'll start with a blank editor and finish with packaging our code up as a Ruby gem for distribution. Along the way, we'll cover everything you'd expect to know about an object-oriented programming language. Classes, objects, methods, and so on. But we want to take you a step further in this course. To write good Ruby programs, you'll need to understand the things that make Ruby different from other languages. So throughout the course, we'll discuss techniques and design principles to help you get the most out of Ruby. And at the end of the course, you'll be comfortable with all the Ruby language constructs. And more important, you'll know when and why to use them. So let's talk a little bit about how we're going to teach this course. The course is divided into a series of modules. Each module focuses on an objective, something we want our app to do. Within each module, there's generally a video and a series of hands-on exercises. Now, the video isn't just a recording of one of our live courses. Rather, it's designed to be your own personal studio. If you were sitting next to us, this is how we would teach you Ruby. We'll incrementally build an application through short discussions and some live coding. And because it's a video, you can stop, rewind, and rewatch it as often as you like. But simply listening and watching won't be enough. To really learn Ruby, you'll need to practice writing Ruby code. That's right. So at the end of each module, you'll finish watching a video, and then it will be your turn to go practice. Each module has a series of hands-on exercises. You can think of it as a workbook of sort to kind of help you practice what you've learned in the video. You can work through these at your own pace, and if you get stuck, there are plenty of hints, and all the solutions are provided. Now, don't skip these exercises. They're a core part of the course, and practicing is vital to becoming a proficient Ruby programmer. So we've got a lot to cover in this course, so let's head over to the desk and see what it is we're going to create.